Hi, this is Mary from The Daily Cell. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to put in a centered zipper by hand. Now, why would you want to put in a zipper by hand instead of machine? Well, there's a few reasons. One, you don't own a sewing machine. Two, you don't have a zipper foot for your sewing machine. Three, you don't like the look of machine stitching going down the center back. Or four, you don't mind the look but you get a little frustrated when you put it in by machine and you have to rip out the wobbly stitches and re-put it in and rip out more wobbly stitches. And you want a frustration-free way of putting in a zipper. So if any of those reasons appeal to you, let's go. Okay, first we have the center back of your garment and this is where you've sewn the hem up from the hem up to where your pattern tells you to stop. It's usually indicated by a circle on your pattern. And that is where your zipper stop will go. You may need to shorten your zipper and that's easy to do. I've included a link to those instructions in the description. Your zipper, top, zipper stop will lay there. But it's really important to know where the pull needs to go. So check your pattern. It'll usually tell you how far down to place it from the next seam. So if you have any seams crossing the center back where the zipper is going to go, you want to make sure they line up. So match them up and pin them in place. And then from there, just pin the rest of this open center back up. And take it to your machine and machine baste it closed. Do it in a contrasting thread because you're going to take the stitches out and they'll be easier to see. Once you've basted it, press this seam open. Let's put the zipper in. The zipper stop will go where the basting stitches start, but you may want to start by laying the zipper down up at the neck to make sure you have that zipper pull in the correct position. You'll pin the zipper face down, checking that the zipper coil is centered above the seam line. If you don't have a sewing machine to baste this seam, don't baste it. Instead, fold back the seam allowance on each side of the center back, Press it down and baste the seam allowance down to the garment. Then open up the zipper and pin it face down like we're doing here, but you'll just do it open. You're going to make sure the teeth are just inside the fold, that they don't cross over the fold into the opening. And that's if you don't have a sewing machine to baste that seam closed. Once we pin the zipper in place, we're going to start basting it down. You can start anywhere. I just happen to start in the center, but I use an uneven basting stitch to baste it closed. Now, zipper tape has uh, woven lines in it, and these are marks, or guides. And if I had planned this through, I would have basted on one of these guides, following the guide, so that my basting stitches would be a guideline for my permanent stitches. However, I didn't, and I uh, have a solution for that as well. Just baste the entire zipper down. Once you've basted that zipper down, and if you didn't use uh, your basting stitches as a guideline, you're going to want your permanent stitches to be evenly spaced on both sides of that seam. So, we're going to make a guideline. You could use a ruler, just measure out from that center seam and mark. You could use a template of some sort. Mine just happens to be a ruler, but a template could help you mark the exact same amount of width on each side of that seam. Or some people use tape as a template. Depends on the width of your tape. If your tape is wide, you would simply center it down that seam and then use the outside edges as a guide. Or if you have narrow tape, you could tape one edge of the tape to the seam and then use the outside line. Use the outside of the tape as a guideline. Now to mark, I normally use this Chaco um, Chaco marker from Clover. It's a chalk wheel. It goes on really easily. 
it also comes off really easily which is great except for hand stitching because all that movement with your hands and your hands touching it, it just comes off too easily for hand stitching. So for hand stitching, I use Taylor's chalk. Taylor's chalk, you wanna test in an inconspicuous place, one, to see that you can see it on the fabric and two, that it does come off. It won't come off completely with just rubbing with your fingers, but it'll come off enough to know that you can get it off. Go ahead and mark some lines. And these are guidelines for your permanent stitches. We're gonna start at the bottom. And I'm going to the inside. I've put my knot between the seam allowance and the garment. And then I'm gonna take a couple of stitches here just to reinforce extra strength sewing that zipper tape to the seam allowance. And then take your needle to the outside of the garment. Now we're going to do the prick stitch here, and I'm right-handed, so I'm working right to left. If you're left-handed, you'll work left to right. So the thread comes up out of the fabric, and again, you're working right to left, but it's a back stitch. It's a, it's a type of a back stitch, so I go backwards a couple of threads on the garment, and then I carry it across the back about three-eighths of an inch to the left, or three millimeters. Now, I, I first stitched through that basting um, stitch, and you don't want to do that if you can avoid it. But it will happen, but if you can avoid it, do it. So the thread comes up out of the fabric, goes to the right, one or two threads of the garment, and then across the back, about three-eighths of an inch or three millimeters. And you can see they're really tiny stitches. So go ahead and do use a thimble because the zipper tape is tough and it'll hurt your hand pushing it through, especially on a 22 inch zipper. Again, you'll go to the back, just one or two threads of the garment, and you go through all three layers, which is the outer garment, the seam allowance, and the zipper tape, and then you carry it across the back three eighths of an inch or so. Go to the back, one or two threads, across the back and forward about three-eighths of an inch. Needle comes up out of the fabric. It goes backwards, one or two threads, back down into and across the back of the garment about three-eighths of an inch. Over and over. Now every time you get to the end or the beginning of a thread, you're going to want to take a couple of reinforcement stitches in that seam allowance, the seam allowance to the zipper tape. Just take two or three stitches like we did at the beginning. Just a little extra strength before you knot and add as you start new threads. When you're all done, go ahead and remove your basting stitches. You'll find that some come out quite easily and others don't because they've been sewn through. Don't pull them too tight. Just go on one side, the back side, then the other side, get them as loose as you can. And then for those pieces of basting stitch that have been sewn in, you'll clip really close to where they've been sewn in. And then you'll find that the fibers of the thread will unwind and it will release quite easily. So don't force them out. And now let's remove any marks. And you always wanna remove your marks before you do any pressing. Sometimes a hot iron or even steam can set those marks permanently into your fabric. I just use a little damp cloth. Then go ahead and steam and lightly press your stitches. Now you're gonna remove those basting stitches that was holding the seam together. But you can see your little prick stitches are quite invisible, especially in a fabric like linen. They really just blend right in. It's beautiful, no big top stitching seams up the back of your dress. This is the outside. And if your zipper is under a lot of strain, it's go ahead and take a needle and thread and hem stitch that zipper tape to the seam allowance. 
And this is the back. So the front, the part that people see, they actually don't get to see it. It's quite nice. Well done. Good job. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll be sure to reply. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your sewing. Goodbye.